Welcome back. I'm now joined by Trina Romero on behalf of Colorado Parks and Wildlife, and we're talking about a fun event that's actually happening tomorrow, um, which is the 10th annual Grand Mesa Moose Day. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, you know, from the name, you can tell that it's mostly about moose, right? That's right, absolutely. It's our celebration of moose. We started to introduce moose in the mid-2000s up on the Mesa. We are actually approached by the public. They wanted to see moose on the Mesa, and we have adequate habitat there, so it was a great fit. And we have um, celebrated moose through this festival for 10 years. This is our 10th anniversary, as you said. Yeah. And so we have some awesome family activities, and it is a completely free event oh, as wonderful. well. And so you mentioned some of the activities then. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, we have, if you remember the community calendar, we have been telling people about this event for a while. Um, and so what are some of the activities people can expect up there? Well, you know, something new that we have since it is the 10th anniversary is Sean Ender is a filmmaker that mm -hmm. is going to be showing his film about Colorado moose. Oh, nice. And that will be shown at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. And then we also do a telemetry hike with our wildlife officers. And that's on the Discovery Trail behind the Visitor Center. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is just to learn um, how we call our animals, and it actually shows people that they're able to, it's not that difficult, and they're able to actually go and find a caller on their own, along yeah. with our, our staff. So that's kind of a fun activity as well. Perfect. So it's kind of, you know, getting people out in the wilderness as well for a little bit. Absolutely. And so we do that. We also have craft activities for kids. We have some other, um, we have a casting station with Cabela's mm -hmm. and our CPW volunteers that do that. So fishing is a little more your style. You can yep. come up, learn a little bit about moose. Of course, fishing is a huge activity on the Mesa. It's very popular, so oh, yeah. we incorporate that as well. Awesome. And so, Moose Day. What is it, I guess, about moose that made you guys want to do a whole day dedicated to it on the Mesa? You know, people want to see them, and they want to yeah. learn more about them. And in turn, we also want to educate people, but we also want to provide safety aspects about mm -hmm. viewing moose. And a lot of people here locally haven't even seen one on the Mesa yet. Yeah. So we talk about places to go and view them, how to view them safely, and you know, to make sure they're hiking, if they're hiking with a dog, to keep the dog on a mm -hmm. leash and keep them nearby. And um, you know, that's the main thing, is they're just a large, charismatic animal. People want to see moose, they yep. love to see them. We have um, a really healthy population of moose on the Mesa, as well as other parts of the state. So we talk about other places to see them, if not on the Mesa, if you'd like to travel a little further. Yeah. And it's just a really good place to come and learn about biology of moose, how to view them safely, and, uh, and really where to look for them up on the Mesa. Perfect. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in today. Hey, thank you um, for having and me. And we will have, yeah, of course. And this is such a cool event. Hopefully, we'll see you out there. Uh, we will have all the details on where this is, how you can get there on our website, westernsoapnow.com. So make sure to check that out. And we'll be right back after the break. Don't go anywhere.